Jamaica's Olympic giants Omar McLeod and Hansel Parchment are set to clash in Birmingham. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please, hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. After this, sports analysis. And then we take a look at your comments. So stick around to the end. You just may hear from yourself when ready yet good to go two of jamaica's greatest olympic athletes in fact two of the world's greatest athletes the one and only hansel parchment and the amazing omar mcleod are set to clash at the Mueller diamond league in birmingham on may the 21st the olympic gold medalists over the men's 110 meter hurdles will match up against each other at the newly redeveloped alexander stadium uh, which is the second stop on this season's wonder diamond league calendar also in the mix is the world global 110 meter hurdles star andrew posey now the trio will be joined in an impressive lineup of some of the world's best male 110 meter hurdlers there is damian uh, zvera of poland uh paolo dal molin of italy king david of great britain oriel manga of france asher martinez of spain and then of course omar mcleod uh hans apartment and andrew ponzi of Andrew Posey of Great Britain. This is a mouth-watering lineup for the men's 110 and 10 meter hurdles, featuring three of the top hurdles in the world as we speak. In fact, perhaps the only person missing is Grand Holloway of the United States. Now, currently, Hans Apartment of Jamaica is three for three, meaning he has won his last three races, including this, his opener at the National Stadium of the men's 110 meter hurdles about a month ago. Off they go for the men's 110 meter hurdles. Hans Apartment called up well. The Olympic champion has the advantage. Propel is going with him. Portrait and Propel. Portrait ahead of Propel. Portrait ahead of Propel. And they're in third position. Off they go for the men's 110 meter hurdles. Hans of Parchment caught up well. The Olympic champion has the advantage. Propel is going with him. Portrait and Propel. Portrait ahead of Propel. After securing this win in his 2022 opener over the men's 110 meter hurdles, he went on to Iowa at the Drake Relays where he won comfortably, running into a pretty strong headwind. Ansel Parchment's next stop, the third in his series of straight wins over the men's 110 meter hurdles, was in Puerto Rico at the American Track League's Puerto Rico International Athletics Classic. The Tokyo 2020 Olympic champion won in a season's best time of 13.15 seconds, running into a minus 0.2 meters per second wind. 
his time beat his previous best of 13.20 seconds which he had established in his season opener at the velocity festival number 11 held at the national stadium in kingston jamaica parchment also beat the american devon allen who ran 13.20 to take second at the event ahead of jamal Britt, who came third with a season's best time of 13.30 at the puerto rico classic so hansa parchment has had three straight wins heading into his clash against omar mcleod another amazing jamaican athlete now omar mcleod uh sped to a season's best of 13.22 seconds uh, but was not good enough to beat Devon Allen at the Penn Relays recently. McLeod, of course, is the 2016 Olympic Games 110 meter hurdles champion. He is also the 2017 world champion over the men's 110 meters hurdles. The highly accomplished McLeod also holds the national record for Jamaica over the men's 60 meter hurdles, which he set in Portland at a time of course we mentioned that he is the olympic champion for jamaica over the 110 meter hurdles which he won in 2016. omar mcleod followed up this extremely impressive feat by winning the world championship in 2017 in london another remarkable accomplishment as far as i'm aware the only jamaican to have done this over the hurdles in fact i'm very certain he's the only jamaican to have done this over the hurdles meaning winning the olympics in 2016 and winning the world championship the following year in 2017. so omar mcleod may be the single most accomplished jamaican hurdler all time at the 2017 world championships he bested his olympic medal winning time of 13.05 to win in a time of 13.04 so people this matchup i think is going to be a doozy at this point hans apartment is winning right now and uh, the truth is when an athlete is on a roll it's very very hard to break that momentum and he has worked on his start, which was his weakness. He himself has admitted that one of the reasons he's winning consistently presently is because of his start, because that was his Achilles heel over the hurdles. He's a brilliant technician, uh, has the speed and has the durability. And certainly, Hans Department shows up on the big occasions, people. He's just one of those athletes. So I am really looking forward to this clash. I think this is going to be really remarkable. Now, of course, Omar McLeod is, is a seriously talented um, athlete. Very, very, very talented athlete. The greatest, I believe, um, male 110 meter hurdle Jamaica has ever produced. And certainly one of the best all time. And he's coming into the competition with one of the top five times in the world. So uh, he's a gentleman who's used to winning. And I think he has something he wants to prove to Hans Apartment given the disaster of the trials last year in 2021 so he's going to be coming in hard so let's take a look at your comments for this one this was on a previous video this person was referencing hans apartment james bond wrote he's a great champion olympic gold he's a king of 110 right now he earned it straight up and down that said 
we are coming back to check his pulse in this year's Worlds. Grant Holloway is coming back hard. Coming back hard to take that crown. Let's go! I appreciate love this comment, James Bond. <laughs> really, really enjoyed this comment. King Jermaine Lawrence wrote, without question, as he's referencing Omar McLeod now, without question, he is his most accomplished 110 meter hurdler for Jamaica. His mind has defeated him on several occasions, but I can understand, I guess. People questioned, people questioned this man's business so bitterly. No wonder he struggled to remain focused. I respect that he continues to represent Jamaica. I hope he gets help to come to terms with what is hindering his focus to be the best in the world. Great comment, uh, Jeremy Lawrence. Chris Jackson wrote, Hans Apartment has the World University Games gold medal, the World Championships gold medal, and the Olympic gold medal. Just saying. And finally, we hear from Queen Gillette Taylor, who wrote, Nice vlog. Great to see one of our favorite track, and track stars back in good shape and performing very well. She was talking about Hans Apartment. Thanks. I mean, we really love when you all full joy the videos. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. Go and hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. You're kings and queens. Bless up.